Now, this year, India has made significant progress with rocket engine technology. India's space agency, ISRO, has certified all rocket engines required for the country's ambitious human space flight program, Gaganyaan. ISRO has also performed a few successful test firings of its most powerful yet rocket engine, a semi-cryogenic engine. For more details, Vion's Siddharth MP spoke to Dr. V. Narayan from ISRO's Liquid Propulsion System Center. Take a look at this excerpt. Over the last one year, India has conducted multiple test firings of a sophisticated and its most powerful yet rocket engine known as a semi-cryogenic, a kerosene and liquid oxygen engine. So it's his facility, the Liquid Propulsion System Center, that uh, does the testing, design, development and all of this uh, pertaining to new rocket engines. So we're joined by Dr. Narayan. So tell us, huge progress in one year? Oh, really, uh, as you are aware, we are developing a 200 thrust uh, liquid oxygen and kerosene based rocket engine and we had a small setback last year. After that, we have studied thoroughly, we have carried out a lot of experiments, and to our credit, we have successfully completed four ignition tests in the newly commissioned semi cryo facility, which was, which was declared to the country, which was dedicated to the country by Honorable Prime Minister. Now we are in the process of building the rocket engine, and we are going for the test program. Maybe in another two to two and a half years, we are planning to complete the entire development. And also, we have completed the human rating test activities of L110 cryo stage and the C25 cryo stage. In the C25 uh, cryo stage, as uh, uh, some of you may be knowing, we have enhanced the capability of the uh, stage from 28 ton propellant loading to 32 ton propellant loading powered by an engine with 22 ton thrust. And this development is almost completed and we have built the first stage for the G1 mission. So generally when going in for a new type of missions like G1 and so on, uh, would you not uh, use a tried and tested one rather than you know increase the propellant loading and use a larger tank? No, basically we have to build margins and we have to human rate. So with respect to that, number one we have to increase the thickness of the tankage and everything that has to be done, redundancy has to be increased and to meet the specific requirements we have to build a unified stage. That's why we have built a C32 stage. The final question about the uh, liquid oxygen and methane engine, of course, the one that India bets big for its future, right? You know, yeah. for the massive rockets we want to build, LOX methane is the future. How far have we come? Uh, this, we built a 20 ton technology demonstrator engine and we have demonstrated through seven hottest all the technologies. And now we are in the process of designing the 100 ton, ton thrust uh, Lox methane engine which is going to be employed for the uh, future new generation launch vehicle.